Hey guys, Jared James here and welcome to episode four of my podcast, Today with Jared James. And today I'm going to answer the question uh, that I get asked all the time, which is, what would you invest in if you only had a thousand dollars to spend? And so we get asked this a lot from our, our real estate clients and they wanna know if I only had a thousand bucks, what should I invest in? And so I wanna make sure that we understand here that this answer really depends on a couple of things and really it depends on where you're coming from from a real estate perspective as far as like what kind of an agent do you want to be are you an inbound agent are you an outbound agent are you working on a team are you there's so many different options i don't think even most agents really even understand the difference between these things or have even really thought that way but an inbound agent would basically be somebody who's paying uh, Zillow, Realtor.com, our marketing department, all of these different places to be creating inbound leads that come to you, right? That's one way that you can do it. An outbound agent is somebody who creates leads through outbound marketing, outbound prospecting. They're calling FISBOs, they're calling uh, uh, expired listings, they're calling on their past, I mean, it's all outbound. And then there's people who are working on a team. And in those cases, many times, they're having leads supplied to them that now they have to go out um, and convert those or they have to work with people and you know that's going to be a different spend depending on which one of those that you're coming from whether you're inbound outbound working on a team you're going to need different types of tools so I do want to make sure before we get started here that you understand that there are a lot of uh, different types of agents so I'm going to answer this more generically okay the first thing that every single agent or salesperson needs is a CRM it's not an accident that we just released one with our marketing our marketing company, uh, Jarja Media, uh, because they're the number one thing that you need. They are the hub of everything that happens. They are the thing that allows you to make sure you're following up on the level that you should for years to come, and you're not just relying on memory, which doesn't work, right? So CRMs run in a lot of different ranges of prices. Ours is $39 a month or $390 for the year, depending on whether you're an individual or, you know, obviously then if you're a team or a broker it goes up from there but you need to make sure that you have that the second thing that I believe in today's world that everybody should be spending money on uh, and by the way so we said that one was 390 for the year so it leaves about six hundred and ten dollars left off is I believe everybody should be doing some kind of marketing through whether it's Facebook or Instagram or YouTube promotions which is one that that people really leave out uh, whether it's through your Zillow's your realtor.com's your Trulia's your you know whatever it happens to be you've got another six hundred and ten dollars left over there that you're gonna want to do I think that you should be reaching out in that way too to create a more predictable business. That doesn't mean we leave out the referrals. That doesn't mean we leave out the prospecting. That doesn't mean we leave out these things, but I think everybody should be doing something to be creating ongoing leads on a regular basis in your business because guys, that's just sales 101. Like any sales field that you're in, you need leads coming in on a regular basis. And when you have the opportunity you have today where people go on their phones and the internet and this is how they're reaching out and they're filling out forms and it's going through to someone on the other end, this is something you're gonna to wanna to be doing, okay? The other thing I really believe that people need is I believe everybody needs a coach. There's a reason why I run a coaching company. We have virtual coaching, $59 a month. We have one-on-one -on -one coaching that starts at $499 a month, $499 a month. Coaching matters. Coaching helps you get to where you honestly need to be. But here's the funny thing about this whole question and this whole episode. I disagree with the premise. The whole I have $1,000 to spend, what should I spend it on? I disagree with the premise. It's like saying I wanna go swimming but I don't wanna get wet, okay? The truth of the matter is is that if you're getting into real estate and you're coming from a position of strength, which is really where everybody should be coming from, it costs money to get into real estate. Like, we have gotten spoiled by the referral-based world where leads didn't cost us anything. And so because we got so spoiled by that referral-based world where leads didn't cost us anything, we now have everybody watching HGTV, watching millionaire real estate agents saying, I wanna go be a real estate agent, but I don't have any money to get into the business. What business do you start without having to make an investment, without having to have some kind of capital? And so real estate is no different. So while I'm covering this topic, I also disagree with the premise premise of the question, which is that I think people need to be starting off from a position of strength and have three to six months of income already put aside so that they can make decisions based on what they should do, not what they have to do, which are two completely different ways of making decisions. Too many people are making decisions based on what they have to do because they're not coming from a position of strength instead of what they really should do 
because they're coming from a position of strength and they're able to make decisions based on what really is in their best benefit for the future of themselves, the future of their families, the future of their businesses, okay? Now, understanding that, we need to understand that for the person who's asking, I have $1,000, what should I spend? Understand that there are two different types of equity. There is sweat equity and there is check equity. And not everybody has the availability of check equity, but every single person listening to me right now has the availability of sweat equity. That's just work. And so maybe in the beginning, you're going to be doing things that you don't want to be doing 10 years from now. Maybe in the beginning, you're making phone calls you don't want to make. Maybe in the beginning, you're, making, you're going and knocking on doors you don't want to knock on. Maybe in the beginning, you're doing open houses for people that you don't want to be doing open houses for. Maybe in the beginning, you're following up on other people's leads that they weren't following up on from, from six, year, uh, six months ago that they don't want to be following up on and neither do you. But in the beginning, what every single person has available to them is sweat equity. And so forget about the thousand dollars you have to spend, forget about the ten thousand, the hundred thousand. Every single person listening has sweat equity. It's just a matter of the work you put in. It's a matter of the number of conversations. It's a matter of the awkward conversations. It's a matter of learning the correct words to use. It's a matter of, but then what you all want to get to is eventually you want to get to the place where you're able to invest check equity which means that you're able to actually create an inbound business where leads are coming to you on a regular basis just because of a check that you're writing, someone else is doing that work and bringing those leads in. That's how a business starts becoming uh, much more predictable. But I'm gonna tell you that you never really wanna get to the full place where you have no sweat equity coming in, where you're not investing any sweat equity because you lose a little bit of the touch of the business, okay? And so it's interesting because for me, as much as I have, even within my company, so many different people that do different things and that I used to do, there's a little bit of touch that I still have on everything because I need to know what's going on. There's a little bit of hustle, not a little bit, there's a lot of hustle that still exists. There's a lot of late hours. There's a lot of, because there's something that happens when you lose that sweat equity mentality that almost like makes it that the check equity is a waste now because you're not gonna follow up at the level that you need to anyway, okay? So when we really look at this topic, the thousand, like I said, I, I, I disagree with the premise, but everyone needs a CRM. Everybody should be doing some kind of inbound marketing that's occurring where, where leads are coming to you automatically. Everybody should have a coach. You're always going to perform at a higher level with a coach. How you spread that out over that thousand is up to you, but ultimately in an ideal world, we'd be coming from a position of strength and we'd be making decisions based on what we should do, not what we have to do. But the only way that you're going to get there, depending on where you are as you're listening to this right now, is understanding the difference between sweat equity and check equity and knowing which one of those equities right now you're able to deploy.